If you've ever seen a thunderstorm, you know the skies get a little dark and scary ahead of the storm. And that oftentimes is thanks to something called an outflow boundary. So let's break down to you exactly what these outflow boundaries are. Oftentimes they're all bark, but sometimes they have a bit of bite with them too. So they look like shells. We call these shelf clouds, the leading edge of cool air exhaust exiting a thunderstorm. Every storm has inflow air that goes in and outflow air that exits. And when it exits, it oftentimes takes a form of something just like this. So what we're seeing right here, this is the shelf. It looks very laminar, very striated, very nice and crisp and organized because you're having two air masses mix. These little tendrils, this is cold air coming down, kind of going down and condensing the moisture in the air ahead of it because it's like, a, it's like a slope pushing warm air upwards. So all the warm air is riding up and over and you get this weird chafing between the two different air masses making these weird little tendril-like clouds. We roll this video and you can see very well what it looks like right as those clouds move through. Here's a great example of a shelf cloud our storm chaser Aaron J. Jack caught in Angora, Nebraska, showing you a really good side profile. So obviously here is the outflow boundary, this wedge of cool air. The cool air might be 10, 15 degrees cooler, undercuts the warm air, and the warm air goes up and over to fuel the storm. So along this interface, you often get little eddies, little kind of rolls. You can actually get something called a roll cloud too. For a storm to survive, you need two different components. You need that inflow and you need the outflow and they need to kind of be balanced. In this case, this storm, if we play it, is outflow dominant, meaning it's spitting out more cool air than it's taking in. So you don't really see the clouds towering all that tall. Yeah, they're trying to go up a little bit, but really the dominant feature is this outflow boundary. And oftentimes these outflow boundaries can travel tens if not hundreds of miles well away from where the storm originally was and actually trigger new storms the next day. And that's why they're so tough to forecast but a really big crucial piece of forecasting severe weather on the Great Plains and across much of the US. When a storm goes outflow dominant, odds are it's weakening, but after that outflow boundary passes over, you would call that the gust front. You might notice gusty winds, but you'll also see weird turbulent skies just like this. We call this the whale's mouth. It's a result of those two different air masses starting to mix, you get all these little turbulent eddies to form, but it's really cool. You get these little pouch-like things too. When you see something like this, odds are it's actually not a strengthening storm. It may be a weakening storm, but it's a sight to behold. It looks just like the inside of a whale's mouth, I would assume. Because shelf clouds look like walls, people oftentimes mistakenly call them a wall cloud. That's a very different thing. This is a wall cloud from Missouri back earlier in March of last year. And you can see, it doesn't look exactly like a wall. In fact, this is air going up into the storm, rotating. This is the beaver's tail feeding into it where rain cooled air is being ingested into the uptrap, the rising motion. So two completely different things. Shelf clouds, outflow, air exiting the storm. Wall clouds, air going into the storm. And when you see a wall cloud, that's a sign a tornado could be on the way. But really cool sights to see. And it goes to show you, no matter what kind of storm is happening outside, there's always something to learn if you just look up. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.